Hello, this is uh, hopefully a short video on how extra credit works. Uh, the extra credit policy is the last page of the syllabus. Um, normally, I have service learning as one of the extra credit options, but I don't usually offer it over the summer because of the compressed time schedule. Uh, so for extra credit, I give you different options for doing extra credit. You can get up to 30 points of extra credit, but there are more than 30 points of extra credit work posted. So don't do all of the extra credit or you will be wasting your time. Uh, if you get the maximum allowable 30 points of extra credit, what that will do is add three points to your overall grade in the class. So if after I put the final exam in, you have an 80, your 80 becomes an 83. Uh, your 87 becomes a 90. Um, so the whole idea, um, the reason why 30 and 3 is that it can turn a B plus into an A or a C plus into a B. Um, so you have two different ways of getting extra credit. Um, you can do mastering dynamic study modules, which I will show you. There are 10 of them. They are worth three points a piece. So if you do all 10, that's 30 points. And then there are these radio lab assignments, which I will talk to you about. Uh, this is a radio show that you can listen to the assignments or the assignment sheets, I should say, for the Radio Lab have links in them. The links are probably dead because they reorganize the website every couple of years and I can't keep up. So the easiest thing to do is to just Google the title of the episode and Radio Lab. So if it's the episode on parasites, just Google Radio Lab parasites and it'll take you to. The, uh, page for it. There are six of those. Those are worth five points apiece. Um, if you do all of them, that's 30 points. You can do a few radio labs and a few masterings if you want to mix and match. Um, whatever you need to do to get to 30, just remember you can't get credit for more than 30. Um, all of the extra credit assignments are at the very bottom of the home page, which is also the modules. So you can click on either one. Um, and again, just scroll all the way down to the bottom. For the radio labs, if you click on the assignment, um, the, oh, I put links in here. Again, I, I update these every once in a while, but I don't know if they're current anymore. You will want to open this document this document will have a series of questions which get answered by the radio show in the order that they're listed. So you just listen and answer the questions as you go, and then you submit the questions. Um, and that you just submit through Canvas like a regular homework assignment. Let me just see if this works. Oh, hey, that link still works. So yeah, that link takes you to the website where that episode is archived or posted, and then you can listen to it um, on the website, or you can download it as a podcast and listen to it whenever you want to. Um, so those are the radio labs, or again, the uh, dynamic study modules. Again, 10 of these, three points a piece. Um, what these are, are uh, adaptive learning modules, so they give you a series of questions. If you get a question wrong, they keep giving you other questions, and then they like slip that question back in and see if you get it right again. So you basically keep answering the same 15 or 20 questions over and over and over until you can answer all of them with confidence. Um, I should say that I can pick the module, I can pick a group of questions, but I cannot pick individual questions. So there will be questions in the dynamic study module that cover topics that we skipped over. 
So just remember when you're doing that, um, don't get anxious if there are questions about stuff that doesn't sound familiar, because we can't cover everything in the book. Um, I think that's it for extra credit. That's all I wanted to say. Um, again, 30 points maximum adds three points to your overall grade. I should also say that as you're doing the extra credit, it will not change your grade as you do it. The way the grade book works in mastering is that I can only have one extra credit grade. Um, and given that there are multiple extra credit assignments, I can't have those actually have a point value. So what I do is at the end of the semester, after I grade the finals, I look at how much extra credit work you have submitted, and then I manually enter your extra credit grade out of 30. So you're not going to see that change your grade until the very end. Um, plus, it doesn't work right until the very end. If you don't have all the grades entered, then it actually doesn't count as extra credit, and it doesn't change your grade as much as you think it should. So it really only works correctly if it is the last grade I enter, then 30 points does add three percentage points to your overall score in the class. Um, now that's it. Um, and thank you for listening.